Yo guys, and today we've got a big game away at Stoke. Um, it is 8th versus 4th. Stoke, I don't want to jinx anything, but have been been out of form recently. Drew to Rotherham, drew to Blackburn, lost to Bournemouth, drew to Forest. Uh, they last won on the 19th of December. So hopefully this should this should be possibly a winnable game. They're in eighth. They were up there. I think for a bit they were above us in the league. They were doing really well. Um, but they now dropped to eighth. Um, they are six points behind us. But I don't know. I just wouldn't get my. Uh, um, I just wouldn't get ahead of myself. We've only won two away games. One of them was against Derby. Uh, the other against Birmingham. Do you know what I mean? Both 1-0. So, yeah, I wouldn't get my hopes up. But, I feel like... Oh, see, this could go anyway. I'm going to go with a 0-0. I just don't think that we'll do it simply because our home form is so bad. No. 1-0 Watford. Come on, you horns. The chummy. Oh, my gosh. The championship commentators or the EFL commentators know nothing about football. I'm just saying that now. Stoke, I've got it out on the left. Oh, Chalabar. Oh, my gosh. They had it out on the left. Crossed it in. Chalabar did the... Stuck... Just literally stuck his foot out. Did the lazy, laziest movement, I guess you could say. How did he not get that? Uh, but then they had a shot. Good block from Messina. 20 minutes in, still nil-nil. He has been a really boring game. Halfway through the first half, 22 minutes in, still nil-nil. I would say Stoke have been the better team. It's kind of been in our half, but they haven't really been doing anything with it. I say that as Messina gives the ball away and they just miss. Uh, I think it's gone out for a goal kick. Um, oh, no, it's gone out for a corner. But um, Stoke, been the better team. It's been in our half a lot. We haven't had a chance. They, which Stoke, I guess they've probably had a chance, maybe two, but it has been a really boring game. We haven't been good enough. Um, but 22 minutes in, still nil nil. Let's get into the rest of the second half. Go on, Chalabar! Oh, what a chance! First chance of the game for Watford. Uh, comes half an hour into the game, but it was good. What a good build up. Dini played uh, to Chalabar. He played a one two with Hughes. Brilliant, brilliant flick from Hughes. He had a shot. Good save from. Uh, he had a shot just inside the box. Good save from the keeper. 31 minutes in, still nil-nil, but that was a good chance. Hold on, Stoke, we had a corner, they were all over Adam Messina. Look at this, so the ball came in, he's grabbing Messina to the floor, the ref's right in front of it. How was he not given that then? He's got him in a headlock. These, the EFL refs are... Embarrassing. English refs are embarrassing. Oh my gosh, this is MMA. Half time. Stoke City nil, Watford nil. That was probably on the boring half. I'm um, okay. Okay, Ivich. When we were under Ivich, the games were much more boring. But that was still a really boring half. But I'll probably take it. Yes, Stoke are out of form, but they are. Um, pretty good you know they're in the top six not too long ago they're still in the top half they're about eighth they're doing all right away from home cold rainy night in stoke well it's not rainy but it's cold night in stoke um it's going to be tough we haven't looked amazing though we've created a chance or two um but we do need to create more chances they've created a chance or two but mainly it's been boring but we do need to improve create some more chances and hopefully we can see a goal uh, and Jellis gets straight into the second half. Nick Powell. Stoke. Have it. Oh, my. Kiko. Nick Powell has it. He's going to cross it in. What a save that is from Batman. But uh, that was poor from Kiko. They've actually still got it out on the right. Get it clear. Chalabar. Has he got it clear? I think so. That should go out for our goal kick. Should go out for our goal kick. But what is that from Kiko? The clearance. That is dreadful. Literally headed it to him. And Gakia's better. And Gakia should be the one in the starting lineup. He has a couple of good games and everyone gasses him up. It's ridiculous. 52 minutes in, still 0 0. Penalty! Yes! We got a penalty! Come on! I got.
got so bored. And then we got a penalty. This game has been one of the deadest games I've ever watched. There's something that the Horns want you to know. The best in the world, his name is Joe Pedro. Our number nine. Give him the ball and he'll score every time. Si, senor. Okay, he's not our number nine, but he, the song bang. Come on, Dini. Dina, 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 Dina. Come on, Troy. Yes! It's normal penalty, st uh, normal penalty. Blast it down the middle. I think the keeper knew that he was doing it, but it was just too hard. And uh, 63 minutes in, it's Watford 1, Stoke 0. I mean, it's pretty brave for the keeper to come out like that. He made a good save on Saar, but couldn't quite get the ball on Pedro. And 62 minutes in, it's Stoke 0, Watford 1. It's a good play. Troy plays Saar. Could he be 1-1? One and one? He has a shot. Oh, my gosh. What a goal that was. I mean, okay, maybe I'm over-exaggerating it, but that was a tough angle to score at. Just inside the box, right on the right-hand side. Just just about in the goal. What a finish. Really shows his class, is Miley Asar there. He hasn't done that this season. That's what annoys me. But he's done it there. What a ball that was from Troy. And what a finish that was, especially for the angle. And inside 68 minutes... It's Stoke nil Watford two. The game has really turned on its head. Just saw the reaction to the second goal. And what, what? How priceless was that for me? I didn't even look excited at all. Oh my gosh! Joe Pedro stole it. The defender slipped. He's got it out on the right though. He doesn't. He, what's he doing with it? What is going on? Oh ref! 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 He's literally rugby tackled him. What's he giving? No, he was literally grabbing his arm. Joe Pedro probably shouldn't have stopped. But then he ran past him and got completely taken out. That should be a penalty. That's ridiculous. And he's he's fuming with that. He's kicked the billboard, uh, the advertising board. Why did I say billboard? Billboards are massive. Um, but yeah, he's not happy. 72 minutes in still, 2-0 Watford. Stoke. Got a free kick here. Ball's been whipped in. There was a nod on, but it got cleared. But they've got it on the edge of the box. It's probably going to have a shot. He does. It's a brilliant. Oh, it was a pretty good save for Batman. I won't say brilliant, but it was a pretty good save. Straight. It was straightforward, but a good save. Um, just on the edge of the box. Has a shot. Gets down low. Good save. 72 minutes in. Still nil nil. So got out on the left. That's a brilliant chip. He's got it. Oh my gosh. This game is not over yet. 2-1, got one back, 8 minutes to go, oh my gosh, they had it out on the right, good play, good passing, that's really good play, um, yeah, 83 minutes in, 2-1, this isn't looking great, get it clear, ref, please, yes, full time, what an ending. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that was too close. But it's finished. Stoke City 1, Watford 2. The first time we've done the double over someone this season. Oh, my gosh. Gosh, we never do it the easy way, and I think we just proved it there. Oh, okay. What a game that was. Drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. Brilliant three points. Against a big team like uh, against a good team like Stoke, um, by the, you know looking to get into the top six after they fallen out and they were fighting like beavers, um, and yeah, but um, no, I think that's a brilliant three points. Drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.